everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the new monthly Bunker Hill series, Journey to Restart. I'm pleased to introduce the CEO of Bunker Hill, Sam Ash, who's going to be reviewing the latest from Bunker Hill today and afterwards take some of your questions live. Remember that you can submit your questions using the Q&A panel found on the right-hand side of your screen at any point during today's presentation. And as a note, this being a six-series event, with your registration and attendance today, you will automatically be registered and notified of all future Bunker Hill episodes. As always, this event is being recorded and in the coming days will be available on Six.com as an on-demand recording. Without further ado, Sam, I'd like to pass things over to you to get us started. Thanks a lot, Cam. And it really is uh, great to be with everyone again today. And as Cam said, I just uh, wanna remind everybody that as we move forward over the next uh, year and a half, we are gonna be providing a, a week or a monthly update in this forum just talking about the progress we're making towards restart. Um, it's a great way to kick this series off today. Uh, the, the key milestone since we spoke last month is that the demobilization and transport of the Ponderé mill is complete. I'm looking out my window right now at uh, four ball mills and the full flotation circuit and all the bits and pieces of the, of the uh, processing plant sitting at the yard here in uh, Kellogg, Idaho. And uh, really, ready to begin and kick off that construction phase. That's a pretty big milestone. That's a big piece of the puzzle towards restart for us. And uh, just to let everybody know, I, I couldn't be happier with the way that uh, this was accomplished. Uh, first of all, safe. Uh, second of all, uh, ahead, of ahead of schedule and under budget. So we're off to a great start. Here at site, we're also uh, continuing on the uh, development decline. You know, the, uh, the technical team here as we've been uh, been looking at uh, the, the finalizing a lot of the designs, found a really unique opportunity to optimize the uh, this initial development decline and uh, give ourselves a better long-term ventilation network. So there's been a small design change there, and uh, the team is uh, on the ground advancing that decline uh, really, uh, you know, in a uh, in a very in a very productive manner. Uh, you know, the productivities are high, the costs are in in line with where we want them to be, and everything is going really quite well. Uh, in addition, I would say that we've made a couple of opportunistic uh, purchases of equipment. We have uh, we have two more haul trucks, and we've also acquired a uh, jumbo drill. You know, what we're seeing is that if one is uh, is one if one is selective, there are excellent there is excellent value to be found in the uh, used mining equipment space. And, uh, and we're certainly excited about adding a couple of more piece of key pieces of equipment to the fleet here. And then really just to uh, let everybody know uh, that uh, you know, we've talked multiple times over the last few months and you haven't seen this, uh, this slide change at all, which is a good thing. This is, our, this is our plan development timeline. We're still very much on track. And uh, just to uh, let everyone know as well and, and, um, and what to expect, in the very near future, you're going to see us coming out with our uh, pre-feasibility study. So keep an eye on out for that, and uh, and and really uh, look to, looking forward to speaking with everyone next month about some of the progress that we make uh, between now and then. So with Cam, you know, with that, I would say it's a pretty quick brief, uh, but the, we are going to have a, a you know a pretty rapid pr pace of uh, of updates and briefs here from the Bunker Hill. And I'd be happy to take anybody's questions now. Absolutely, Sam. Rapid fire, absolutely. Um, first question, when do you expect to break through this, to the sixth level? Yeah, absolutely. So the redesign and the, uh, and the optimization to take advantage of that opportunity in uh, long-term mine ventilation, it is adding a, a little bit of uh, additional footage onto that development ramp. It's a great investment to make right early, at an early stage in, in the project like this. So we're now expecting that breakthrough to happen, you know, to mid to late October. All right, fair enough. Are there opportunities to increase throughput beyond the 1,500 tons per day that was in the PEA? Well, the, the technical team here is always looking for uh, for opportunities to uh, optimize and uh, and and improve the uh, the economics of the mine. Uh, what I can say is that there is uh, there is a lot of hard work around going on around optimization. I think you're going to see. A lot of the results of that work coming out in the in the pre feasibility, uh, but what I would say is that uh, uh, when you look at opportunities to optimize, 
and uh, and and make a better mine plan and a more robust project. You know, throughput is certainly uh, you know one of the areas that uh, we focus on. Absolutely. Uh, and what are you most excited about regarding upcoming news or catalysts personally? Really, you know, what I'm excited about is, uh, you know, is, is the, uh, the the publication of that pre-feasibility study that's uh, going to be coming out in the very near future. You know, that represents the culmination of a lot of technical work, and it's an opportunity to really share uh, with with everyone how far this project has come and uh, and what the future is going to look like. And really, pretty excited to get to the point where I can talk a little bit more openly about uh you know about what that's what that's going to look like all right sam well it's a fast one today for sure i want to thank you for joining us and walking us through this first episode of this new series uh great presentation i also want to thank everyone that's joined us and remind them that because of your registration and attendance today you'll be automatically notified of episode two when that is ready to go and ready to come out uh but sam i want to pass things back to you before we wrap up for the day just for any parting words uh, absolutely. Thank you, Cam. And uh, and again, thank you, everybody, for uh, for tuning in. This is a really exciting time uh, for Bunker Hill. Uh, you know, as we come to the end of summer, you know, the the and uh, I'm really pleased to be able to share with you, you know, the culmination of that first key milestone for us. You know, the uh, you know, the de the uh, the decommissioning and uh, transport of the Ponderé Mill here to a site, uh, you know, ahead of schedule and uh, under budget. And uh, we're looking forward to having more positive uh, report backs fr from the activity here at site as we go forward. So thank you everyone.